Zmanthus wine tastes the same. Solidify! Solidify! Certainly worth the extra mile. Unsolicited, and all the more valuable for it. one of the other nations? Um, mm, no, I've never seen your kind of attire before. Could it be that you traveled from the other side? I'm just here for a funeral. I don't mean to offend. No matter who you are, there's no need for any ill will between us. Whew. Seems he's just your average scaredy cat. He looks more afraid than Paimon. Yep, yep. You should leave the introductions to Paimon. Don't be afraid. We come in peace. Ah, gods protect me! No, no, no! Stop freaking out and stand still! Relax! Relax? Yes, whatever you say. Please stay your hand. Don't come any closer. I mean you no harm. Don't! Don't touch me! He said nothing's gonna happen. Was it something Paimon said? Let's go after him. He might do something stupid. Director! Director! There's a ghost after me! 
Oh? <laughs> Don't get too excited. These are clients, not ghosts. Exactly! We said we're not ghosts! Why won't you calm down and let us explain? Although... clients doesn't seem quite right either. Uh, yeah, forgive me. This is one of our new undertakers, Mung. It's his first time working a funeral, so of course he's afraid of his own shadow. Funeral... Funeral... <gasps> oh! The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor! Zhang Li is a consultant there! They deal with this stuff a lot, right? Oh, you know Zhang Li? Well, that saves me a lot of explaining. I'm Hu Tao, the current director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, responsible for, uh, well, trifling matters having to do with immortality. A satisfying trade to be in, though, and Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is well known around town. Whatever the request, I'd be glad to hear it. Yeah, if we are looking for Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's help, this is hardly the place we would come to. Ah, oh, but you see, I wasn't referring to clients in the business sense. Everyone who enters this mortal realm will be a client of mine. <laughs> Sooner or later. Well, that's dark. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor welcomes advanced reservations. When you choose us, you'll never have to worry about what might be around the corner. But be sure to book the right date. Pro tip, it is a living nightmare trying to get flowers at short notice. <sighs> Speaking of dates, if you're struggling to decide, please do come and talk it over. I'd hate to see you still alive and kicking when your big day comes. Whoa! Slow down! That's... You... There's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> You'll have to excuse her. The director is a rather... unique individual. Allow me to explain. We'd heard that there'd been some supernatural activity at Wuong Hill. To restore calm here, we performed a funeral ceremony. It went very smoothly. According to the director, we shouldn't be expecting any more issues in the near future. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, Wuong Hill, Funeral... What more is there to say? These three belong in the same sentence. You two, on the other hand, have no business coming to Wuong Hill. You being here is not normal. Um, maybe your understanding of normal isn't quite normal. Adventure? <laughs> you must hail from the Adventurers Guild. Then you are one of our distinguished clients. Would, to be precise. Would? What do you mean? That's just how we gauge our clients' importance. We have four levels. Wicker, bamboo, wood, and marble. The higher the grade, the better we'd like to get to know you. But I've just only heard of this. Well, that's because I only just thought of it. Oh, don't look so shocked. Oh, take a look. Our adventurers spend the whole day scaling mountains, clearing domains, and smiting enemies. Danger and peril are their bread and butter. Clients like these deserve better treatment. Taking an interest in their daily lives will ultimately benefit not only them, but also me. Oh, touched a nerve, did I? I'd have thought any adventurers who dare come here would be used to conversations like this. Anyway, I have a favor to ask. Recently, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor has been trying to strike a business deal with the Adventurers Guild. With you acting as an intermediary, it would be so much easier. Hmm, let me think what I could offer you as a reward. <gasps> or perhaps there's a favor I could do in return? Ah, we're looking for someone. We've asked a lot of people, but nobody seems to have a clue where they are. This seems like something right up my alley. <gasps> I can even inquire with the ones who no longer speak for you. You see? Helping me will be worth your while. Come on then, my able assistants. Let's get down to Liyue Harbor and do some business. Uh, when did we become your assistants? Longshun Funeral Parlor. The ones who no longer speak... Oh, did she mean talking to the dead? Uh... She's a weird one.
Ugh, you again. Look, I told you, we're not interested in the kind of cooperation you describe. Come on, there's no reason to get upset. Look, one of your members is an avid supporter of my proposition. Oh, since our last negotiation, I've come up with a new proposal, which I think you'll find has far more benefits for you. First things first, Wangsheng Funeral Parlor will prioritize the Adventurer's Guild requests above all others. You'll also receive 100 of our signature wooden coffins for free, together with your first order. That's not all. We also provide an on-site cadaver collection service covering almost all regions in Liyue. Now, we do charge a slight premium for a very small number of especially dangerous areas, but, but don't you worry about that. I promise you, it's still very affordable. <laughs> I don't think you're hearing me. Okay, all right. I get it. You want to bargain a little more. But our offer as it stands is already quite a good deal, don't you think? Just think about it. An adventurer's life is full of unexpected threats. It's only natural to take precautions. Mend the roof before it rains, as they say. Yeah, no. I'm not so sure that saying applies in this context. Speaking of precautions, I'd rather focus on keeping my adventurers safe in the first place. It's time for you to go. I have to attend to other matters. Wait, hold on! What would you say to a group discount? 30% off for parties of 10? Director, please, you did your best. We don't need another clash with the Millilith. Uh, if Paimon understood all that correctly, it seems like she's trying to sell them the funeral parlor services. Uh, yeah, nothing left to do here. Let's go back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Rejecting a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Some things are inevitable. It's only a matter of time. Should I save this money? the old ways are the most reliable after all. Mung, are you done preparing our promotional materials? Ah, uh, my apologies. I'm only about halfway through. Do you really think they will be effective? Trust me, they're going to work wonders. This marketing strategy has been used by Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for generations. Clients in need come to our door and write down their commissions on blank wooden tiles. Then they squeeze those inside the parlor through the crack under the door. I fulfill the request written on each tile to make sure our clients are satisfied with the service, no matter if it's an obituary, cremation, or funeral that they seek. Although, it is a bit of a hassle with the constant back and forth. If only we could burn them by the batch. No, Director, I'm not asking about the wooden tiles themselves, but about the special offer they advertise. <laughs> Wangsheng Funeral Parlor should keep up with the times. Just think about it. If we don't attract new clients, we'll be left with nothing, won't we? Business development is a crucial element of every prosperous enterprise. I've been trying various marketing strategies ever since I became the director. I put up posters just like all the other shops, but the Millilith promptly removed them. Then I organized the Wangsheng Visitor's Day, but no one showed up. Well, that doesn't come as a huge surprise. And finally, I discovered that the traditional ways are the most reliable after all. I took inspiration from the wisdom of previous directors. So now, I go from door to door looking for people and organizations willing to cooperate. Just like during our visit to the Adventurers Guild. That's what I mean by business development. The other method I'm trying is using the wooden tiles as coupons. Just by writing things like, buy one, get one free for the holder of this tile on them. Uh, what do they buy and what do they get? A solid and durable second home, of course. They may not need it right away, but they can be sure that when they do, it will still be as good as new. <clears throat> it 
won't start deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself. That's the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor quality guarantee. All right, Mung. Keep adding those special offers to the wooden tiles. The future of our business depends on it. <sighs> I'm still not sure this will work. Oh, I get it. You think that our special offer is not comprehensive enough, right? It is true. I was offering all kinds of great benefits to the Adventurers Guild because they are a new client. But in doing so, I neglected my old clients. <sighs> You're right. It's unfair. Hmm. Let me do some market research. Wait here, my faithful assistant. I'll be back with you in a moment. It shouldn't take too long. Paimon already told you we're not your assistants! Ugh. Guess we got dragged into somebody else's business again. Let's look around while she's away. You must be the director's new hires. Not us! We're just very curious about Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and Hu Tao. Well, I wouldn't get too curious if I were you. Too much knowledge isn't good for ordinary folk. The director is tactful when it comes to what should and shouldn't be known. Huh? Tactful? We should get going. Let's go find Hu Tao. Settled then. Write it like this. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Buy one, get one free. Buy two, get three free. More for your Mora. <laughs> I love it. Better than all that lifeless brochure stuff. <laughs> we want people to feel warm and fuzzy. Uh, but Director, isn't lifeless the name of the game in this industry? That's old hat. We're opening up new ground. Why does Wangsheng Funeral Parlor need to open up? <sighs> yes, Director. Poor guy's giving up. Right, we should get going. I am not letting new business escape us. We? As in us. <laughs> Who else? Do you see anyone else around here? Oh, well, you... Probably wouldn't see them if there was. Stop adding little afterthoughts like that! It creeps people out! <laughs> Just a joke, sorry. Everything you see is everything that's present. For the moment, at least. Ah, lighten up. The way I see it, people make death scarier than it really is. What people truly fear about departing this world is suffering and regret. To deal with the trauma, they let their imaginations run wild with notions of ghosts and evil spirits. <sighs> oh, baseless fantasies. What we've ended up with is a topic that people are morbidly afraid of talking about. If I don't broach the subject, then Wangsheng Funeral Parlor won't be long for this world. Oh, more approachable and appeasable than you'd imagined? say that. Let's just say at least it didn't hurt us. He must have come across a particularly ferocious entity. How should I put this? Most spirits are incapable of harming ordinary folks. The job of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is to guard the border between life and death. One component of this is correcting notions of death and the afterlife that people may hold. Simply put, for those unable to see the border, they're best kept as far away from it as possible. So for ordinary folks, the best case scenario is ignorance of all matters concerning spirits in the afterlife, or even better, a belief that none of it exists. Then you really don't have any excuse for spooking the heck out of people. <laughs> you make it sound so abominable. I'm just trying to get them to see the humor in it all. I never thought you'd be such a bore. Never mind. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. All right, let's get going. Follow me. 
Director, wait. What about Big G? Don't forget. Big G? Who's that? We've been in Alila for ages and never heard that name. Oh, nothing. Just something mung has been pleading with me to take care of. Should be a piece of cake. Where are we going? To visit an important... Sorry, who are you? Hello, I'm Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? Mm, nothing major. How are you feeling these days? Any aches or pains? You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. Very often they're an omen of something terminal. When we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So, aches and pains, best to keep an eye on them. What are you getting at? I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. Go and find some other poor soul. Goodbye. <sighs> Why do they get angry? What's wrong with a few earnest health tips? Hyman thinks it's because they're coming from the director of a funeral parlor. Uh, and you are. Be quick. I'm busy. Hello there. Would you be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Uh, I'm not in need of your services. So you're out here looking for new customers? Don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it? Hardly. Isn't this the fashion these days? Bring the service to the customer and all that. I'm not sure it's every service that falls into that. Uh, anyway, please bother someone else if you don't mind. Uh, another failure. Still, not the end of the world. Paimon's curious. Does this approach ever work out for you? Face. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director, right? I'm sorry, I'm really in no need of it. Don't apologize, get to know us. We've got a new sale going on. Ever hear the saying, out with the old, in with the new? Well, going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side. <laughs> if you keep talking like this, I'll have to call the Millilith. No, no, no. Okay, relax. We're leaving. But Wangsheng Funeral Parlor awaits your distinguished patronage. You really don't give up, do you? Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Well, thank you. Seems you understand me far better than most people. Not really. This is just getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> Business development? Is that what you see this as? Surely you don't think all that was business development. Then what was it exactly? Traumatization for its own sake? No, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? Ah. 
As it turns out, the big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost to drift in the mortal realm. The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by Big G. But having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. So we just had a quick chat, and I left it at that. Why didn't you say so? Paimon thought you had some kind of sixth sense for, uh, people in declining health. Huh? What would I need that kind of ability for? I'm no doctor. <laughs> Were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was going to start healing people? Or... Paimon was trying to subtly imply that... Uh, never mind. Paimon wouldn't know how to explain subtlety in a way you'd understand. Uh, well, let's leave that for now and head back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. This big G matter is very closely linked to Meng. I'm back. <sighs> I'm afraid we're still no closer to finding Big G. I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. We've already searched in all the likely places. Who is this Big G anyway? I guess I should start at the beginning. My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. Big G was one of them. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. But one day, there was an accident. And that was the end of him. I've never forgotten. Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill. But recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? Perhaps. I don't have proof, but I can't stop worrying. I get more anxious every day. How would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? That's why he joined Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. And in fact, what Meng has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. But as for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. I thought there was a good chance Big G might have hidden among them. But here we are, empty-handed. Wong Hill, childhood friends? <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Uh, it, sorry, excuse me. Is this Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? My name's Luo Chung. I've had this awful feeling recently, like something's staring at me. Some of my friends and I went to Wuong Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. I think that it's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon! Say no more. There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right, and a serious one at that. You believe so, too? That it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War return to cast their evil curses upon mortals. 
And if the curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Oh, what a wretched end! The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales! Wu Wong Hill? Hmm. No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need to creep each other out. Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me! I beg you! I'm too young to die! All right, all right. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. However, in order to lift the curse, we need a suitable location, and we need to make some preparations. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going to need your help. I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. When you're ready, come and find me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the big G matter. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go. rituals are you gonna perform here? No ritual at all. We just need to kill some time. Eh? Wait. You didn't take all that vengeful God's curse stuff seriously, did you? <laughs> they were eradicated ages ago. You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the other one believes his friends turned into an evil spirit. It's hard to reason with them. <sighs> Now you see why I believe that ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. I've seen too many people lose their senses on account of things like this. If you want to calm them down, you need to convince them with something tangible. And the best way to do that is to make a great show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. Uh, sounds like that might work. If you were trying to cheer up a three-year-old. Why would you ask that? Pyron just wants to know why we can't tell everyone the truth! Because you can't guarantee that telling an ignorant person the truth will improve the situation instead of exacerbating it. What I can do is pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. But since the curse is imaginary, our fix will also be make-believe. Makes sense. But why would anyone believe that it's a curse? Do you know the history of the Yaksha? They once fought against the ancient gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world in darkness. Although the gods were defeated in the end, their resentment persevered. That resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. Hysteric people mistook it for the curse of the gods. The plague took the lives of many, which only furthered its spread, as the dead were a breeding ground for the disease. Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the founders of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Paimon didn't see that coming. Really? Yes. Anyway, it took many years, but eventually the plague was completely eradicated. <sighs> We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. Each time, we successfully restored the balance between life and death. To sum it up, we are gatekeepers, guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. <laughs> 
so when I say this curse is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more certainty than most. But I also can't really go telling people that the ancient plagues were real, or it would incite panic. <sighs> anyway, let's wait a bit more and get ready for the show. This ley line monolith will make for a really great prop. Ah, oh, you're finally here! We just finished our preparations. Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb the curse inside you and cause it to take a physical form. But don't worry. The Traveler here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. Oh, right. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Will that really solve my problem? Trust the Director. She might look like a weirdo, but she's serious about everything she does. How can you call me a weirdo? I mean, wouldn't you say it's more charmingly naive or disarmingly different? <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. My glamorous assistant, please activate the device. Is it really possible to materialize the curse? I will have order. I'm counting on you! How are you feeling? Did the curse leave your body? Uh, yes. I feel more invigorated than ever before. I'm cured. Uh, I can't express how grateful I am for your and the Traveler's help. If it hadn't been for you, the curse would have taken my life. Ah, oh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. Da, 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 da. You've been pranked. Uh, what? This exorcism device? People like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's just an old ley line monolith, deceptively effective at attracting monsters. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. <sighs> so riddle me this. If I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden recovery? The curse... wasn't real? Then why was I sick? Well, you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick. It's anyone's guess, but I'm leaning towards the last option. Wouldn't be the first time in my career. How unexpected. I also didn't expect that, but uh, still, I'd like to thank you. Uh, don't mention it. I found a way to deal with your fears this time, but I can't do it over and over again. So I'd appreciate it if you try not to give in to superstitions in the future. Human life is short. Enjoy it while it lasts. Wow. I... Uh, what a weird thing to say. Uh, I... I shall head back. I'm sorry for troubling you. I feel relieved to see that it wasn't Big G's doing. However, unless he crosses the border, there will be no end to his antics. Since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search for Big G? I believe that won't be needed. He found us first. Big G? Uh, um, I didn't mean to bother you. Any of you. This is Big G? He's just a child? Oh, well, he is a spirit. It's quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left this world. Um, that's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name Big G. 
Let's bring him back to Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuwang Hill in the first place. Now for some reason, he can't go back. This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever question my professional instincts. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. I promise I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. A few days ago, some people came to Wuwang Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. It must have been poor Lo Cheng that you followed. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Now we know what caused his nightmares. Uh, I was discovered? Well, I assume so, otherwise he wouldn't have been scared half to death. searching for you all over the place. Oh, well that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor, and I got lost in the city. Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. So, all of this was just because you got lost? Like any other ghost or spirit. Don't you think it's much easier to find your way from up above? I... can't. It's too high for me. I'd get scared. That's right, yes. He used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. I knew I wasn't supposed to show myself to the living, and with so many people walking around Liyue Harbor, my only choice was to hide. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Monolith's call. I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. <laughs> No, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wuang Hill. And we should be done and dust to dusted. But he just said he wanted to visit his friends. Apart from me, there's also little Wu, Mu Mu, and Songzi. Well, if that's the case, we can't let him down. We'll 